everybody's wondering why, okay, I've got to get exercise, I've, I've got to get, get in shape, I've got to do something, what am I going to do? Well, there's a company right here in the state of Alabama called Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. You might have heard about it. And there's also something called National Walk at Lunch Day. National Walk at Lunch Day. I have a hard time with that, but it's really great. And Brian DeMarco's with us from Blue Cross Blue Shield. Brian, you kind of oversee some of this stuff, what's going on with National Walk at Lunch Day. And so tell me about it. Well, National Walk at Lunch Day is in its 10th year now in Alabama. Yeah. It's a health initiative that the association started and yeah. that all the plans throughout the country. By association, you mean Blue Cross? The Blue Cross Association, okay. yes. And most of the Blue Cross plans throughout the country participate in National Walk at Lunch Day. Right. We in Alabama started, as I mentioned, 10 years ago. We started right. with a small little walk in downtown Birmingham and have grown now statewide. We're actually this year starting four walks in four different cities, Huntsville, Mobile, Montgomery, and Birmingham. We've started a program that has reached out to the schools in the state of Alabama mm -hmm. called yeah. National Walk at School Day. So this thing has really grown throughout the years. Okay, so uh, how long do people walk? It's at lunch, and some people only have 45 minutes for lunch. That the, the, the people walk as long as they want. That's the beauty of it. We're, okay. not, we're, we're not trying to get people to come out of their office and sweat or have to change clothes or put on workout gear. Right, We're trying right. to teach people that they can take 30 minutes during their lunch break, mm -hmm. come out of the office, get a little bit of exercise, go back to work, and be okay. Okay, now, the it's a certain day, evidently. It is, it is. And this year, it's April 27th. Okay, so it's down the road a little bit. It is. Um, we have, as I mentioned, we have an event this year in Montgomery. This is the first year we've done right. that. That'll actually have a different date, and it'll be April 20th. We okay. had to April 20th in Montgomery. April 27th throughout the rest of the okay. state. Okay, so Montgomery's just a little bit, a little bit early. It is, it is. We had to, okay. uh, for scheduling reasons, do it a week okay. early. Now, so people sign up, right? They I mean, do. They have to, they have to where, how do they do that? They need to go online. Okay. We have a website. It's www.alabamablue.com backslash walk at lunch. Okay, we'll put that up on the screen, but say it one more time. www.alabamablue.com yeah. right. backslash walk at lunch. Walk at lunch. Okay, so go to that website and you sign up as an individual, you sign up as a team, you sign up as a... How, how do you sign up? W once you get to the website, there's several different options. One, right. if you are coordinating a walk for your company, right. you would register as a coordinator. Okay. If you are signing up to walk as an individual, whether you want to walk in your neighborhood, at right. your church, or even at your company, mm -hmm. you're going to sign up as an individual. The website is very user-friendly. So I sign up as a coordinator, and then, and then do I put everybody on my team also sign up? No. You're no. going to okay. sign up your company. Okay. If XYZ company signs up, you're going to sign up as your company's coordinator, mm -hmm. right. and then you're going to send an em uh, send an email or some correspondence to, to your associates, yeah. tell them that they need to go on and register as individuals. Okay. So you sign up as a corporation or a company. Uh, whatever, and then you let everybody in your company know about it, yes. and then they sign up as individuals. Correct. And then they pick that day, and they walk for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, as long as they want. They, that's exactly right. And we have, in addition to the online registration, if you go to the website, yeah. we have all the information you need to host a walk at your work site. We have... Okay. Right there where you work. You don't have to go yeah, somewhere. Right. You don't have to go anywhere. We right. have printed pieces. We have detailed instructions on how to communicate this to your associates. Same with churches or civic groups or garden clubs or Anybody. whatever. That's Anybody. the beauty of it. And that's yeah. that's what this is designed for is okay. to not be a big... Uh, you know what's exciting about this is the school thing. Yes. With the schools. Because, you know, a lot of times they don't have gym in, in some schools where they get out and play or do something. That's right. That's right. And so how does, it, how does it work at grammar schools, middle schools, high schools? It, you know, it's geared more towards the younger children, maybe okay. up through middle school. Once you okay. get into high school, it's a little different. But okay. again, we're not asking them to do anything special. They, right. they have a gym time, a PE time. We're asking right. them to incorporate walk at school day during that time. Get the kids out, walk them around the track, get them, let them get a little bit of exercise, yeah. and maybe give them some information on why this is important. And they do that now, daily anyway. Now, does the school anyway. sign up the same way? They, they do, but they can go to the same website, right. and once they get there, there's a link for schools. Okay. So the school That's administrator, yeah. the PE coach, whoever, yeah. can sign their school up as a whole. We don't need any individual sign-up for you schools. Do you have any um, idea how many people did this last year? Yeah, we had quite a bit, actually. Uh, School-wise, we had over 10,000 children signed 10, up. 10,000? Yes. Yeah. Um, 
And you weren't in the whole state then? No, no, no. We yeah. were, uh, it was actually started as a pilot last year, and we had 27 schools jump okay. on board. 10, so that was huge. Kids. Isn't that great? That was great. Um, statewide, we had a little over 14,000 walk for National Walk and really? Lunch Day as a whole, yes. 14,000. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the dates again one more time. In Montgomery? Is April 20th. Okay. The rest of the state, that's, uh, uh, that's Birmingham and Huntsville and Montgomery. Yeah, well. And, and, Mobile, and Mobile. Let me... So Blue Cross this year is sponsoring four walks. Four walks. Huntsville, Mobile, Birmingham, Montgomery. Right. If you want to have a walk somewhere else, we encourage that. Okay, have that's, a that's, walk at your own work site. So, but if you want to join us for a walk, right. we have the four locations I mentioned. Right. Montgomery is April 20th, and that's at Riverwalk Stadium. That's the Biscuit sure, Baseball Stadium. Sure. Birmingham is April 27th in Lynn Park. Right. Huntsville is April 27th, and it's going to be in Big Springs Park East, which is right okay. next to City Hall in Huntsville. Okay. Mobile, unfortunately, we do not have all the locations yet, but, but go to the website. They'll and you'll be find it. they'll be on the website soon enough. This is such a great thing for the states. Great thing to get people out walking. If you're not in one of those cities and you want to do this, do it anyway. Get your people together and do the walk. That's right. And let me. If I can add, if you go to the website, if you have questions, there's a link to an email. The email come directly to me. I'll okay. be glad to answer any questions you have. You can call me. Whatever you need, we'll help you out to get a walk Thanks schedule. Thanks so much, Brian. And You're hey, welcome. Alabama, thanks to Blue Cross and Blue Shield.